everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be looking at Battlefield in a Box, Painted Terrain. This is the Small Wood Pine. This is from Gale Force 9. It's their line of uh, terrain for Team Yankee, Flames of War, or pretty much whatever you can use it for. I purchased uh, a couple of these um, for Flames of War and Team Yankee, but again, you can use these for whatever you want. I also reviewed recently the uh, the tree lines, which were a really good product. I was glad I bought them. It added some cool dynamics to our battles. But um, we're going to talk about the small pine wood today. So what do we get here? Um, this retails for about $25 US. Um, I know as of this filming, oops, there uh, with COVID and all the craziness in the world, the factories are having trouble. So you may or may not be able to find this in stock. I found, I did, couldn't find very many places that had it. I did find some place online, a, um, a game store in the U.S. that uh, had online shopping. I forget what company. I think I might have got it through an Amazon affiliate and uh, picked up what they had. So I picked up a. a you know several of these all right so what do we have we have nine small pine trees one triple stand trees three double tree stands one painted forest base and two packets of static grass so um you get everything you see here which is pretty cool let's go ahead and open this up in there. Haha. Okay. So you have the packets of grass. I talked about this in the tree line uh, video. This is obviously not enough to replicate that with their static grass. So this is more kind of like a sampler to um, you know see what uh, what you like. I went and bought a, uh, a container of this, a small container of this, so I, I'm able to to do my trees in this color. But if you're just planning on using this stuff in the bag, there's no way that that covers everything. Okay, um, in here you've got the trees. We'll open these last because they can be a little messy when you first open them. Um, and then you've got these bases. Which, as the back of the box said, you get one base that can hold three trees and then three bases that can hold two trees. So that's what those are. Then here we have the actual base itself. Now the nice thing about this terrain is that it's a you can play with it out of the box. You don't need to put static grass on it um, to have it look nice. And this is kind of a uh, flexible material. These are not a flexible material, but you can kind of see the idea there. Then we have our trees, which as I mentioned before can get a little messy on your table, but it's not bad. So you get enough trees for all of the stands. Basically they just slot in there. I did not bother gluing my trees, but if it starts to give me a headache, maybe I will eventually. And when you're putting these together, it's just helpful to, uh, you know, vary up the trees on each base. Uh, 
and you can see the uh, the shrapnel from that. So there you go. Totally fine to play with that on the battlefield. I mean, that looks like uh, a woods. But if you want to take this to the next level, you can use static grass. You can do some other things to it. So just to give you an idea of scale, though, for uh, Flames of War, we have a couple of tanks. So you can kind of see the scale there. So it's big enough you can fit a whole platoon of four, you know, four or five tanks in the woods pretty comfortably. Well, so that's always good. Yeah, maybe not uh, Team Yankee tanks, the giant tanks in Team Yankee, but World War II tanks, you should be able to, to get a significant amount of things in the woods. All right, so I have this one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower the camera and show you one after I have uh, uh, put static grass on it so you can see uh, what the difference is. So, again, uh, perfectly good out of the box. Now, this is one that's um, had flocking applied to it. So I applied flocking to the, the base as well as the trees. So you can see there. And so when you put it on there, it's more, uh, you know, it's more cohesive. The grass that you use, you probably want it to match whatever kind of battle mat you're using. I went with a lighter green to contrast uh, um, the maps that I use so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, I kind of like it. I think it, uh, I think it's visually interesting. And it's that packet that, uh, uh, it's this stuff, this one. I also uh, dry brushed some of these trees. Some of them are a little bit more heavy handed than others. On Axe and I just used a tan and, and dry brushed just to knock down some of the bright green Christmas color, Christmas tree color. Um, I mean, they're still pine trees, so they're gonna look like Christmas trees, but that's a pretty bright green um, and that's after it's been dry brushed with the little tan. So you can see the difference. Um, actually applying the flocking is quite easy. I just use uh, white glue and um, a, a lid um, so that I keep all the flocking together while I, I sprinkle it on there. And uh, it probably took about 20-30 minutes to do one of those. So. Um, like I said, so I have a couple. My old woods are getting kind of beat up, the, the wood templates I have. So eventually I'd like to transition to something a little bit more sturdy like this. Um, I've got three of these now, so that's, and I've got tree lines, so that's uh, quite a lot of cover. I probably eventually want to get some more, um, just so I, I have, uh, can put more woods on the the table at once but at $25 a pop these aren't necessarily super cheap they're not super expensive either for what you get pre-painted terrain that you can plop on your table and start using um, woods are a pretty important part of um, games like flames of war and team yankee providing line of sight blocking providing cover for infantry while they move things like that um, so it's important you have something like that on your table whether you build it yourself or whether you go with an option like this that's already pre-built. All right, guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. We looked at the small pine wood from Gale Force 9, Battlefield in a Box. <clears throat> These, uh, I'm looking forward to getting them out on the table, and I'm sure eventually you'll be seeing them pop up in battle reports from time to time. As always, thanks for watching. If you do like our Flames of War content, we ask that you do check out our Patreon. Patrons get access to a exclusive battle report every month, plus early access to videos, uh, YouTube videos before they're released. Also, uh, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe here on YouTube. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at All Miniatures Great and Small. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.